all right so what's up guys so i found this solution to a problem i had not long ago and i want to share it with you i know it will help someone out there all right so i have this pre-owned cd i got from a friend and i wanted to play the game on my new ps4 but then the feedback i keep getting is that the the, the disc cannot be read and i should make sure that the disc is not damaged all right so this is the solution i found all right so the first thing you need to do is that you make sure you go to the settings so when you're on, when you're on your home screen you go to the settings and then you go all the way down to assist to power safe settings please take note to power safe settings and then you go to set time until ps4 turns off and then you make sure that your media playback is put on do not turn off or either after five hours and this will make sure that when you're installing the game the console wouldn't turn off by itself so it's very crucial so take note so i've put mine on do not turn off and then you go back on the home screen so i want to try this with my nba 2k17 for now that's the disc I tried it on my GT I tried it with GTA Auto 5 and it worked. That's the disc as you can see on the screen. So I want to eject it and try it with the NBA. So let me eject it for now. Okay, so the disc is out. So now I'm going to insert the NBA 2K17 disc. Alright, let me get you. Also take note that one thing you should also note is that you need to clean your disc to make sure that disc is not dirty when you clean your disc and it keeps giving you that information that your disc is damaged or whatever then you try this then I'm showing you and it will work so all right so I've inserted my NBA disc so I'll open the game now and let's see the feedback it gives me As I said earlier, I tried this on my GTA Auto 5 pre-owned disc and it worked. And I was very amazed and I know it will help someone out there so I want to share this with you. And if it works, kindly subscribe to my channel, like and then share it with a friend. I know it will help someone. So the game is installing as you can see on the screen. It's 1% and it's still copying the games. So let's wait until we get that blue screen so that we figure our way out around it. If you are waiting for that blue screen. Okay guys, this is what we've been waiting for all this while. As you can see on the screen, it says cannot continue using the application. The disk cannot be read. Make sure that the disk is not damaged or dirty. My disc is not really damaged nor dirty. I don't know why it is giving me the screen. So the trick here is that, please take note, it's very crucial, take note. The trick here is that if the blue screen appears, the game is still installing behind the scene. Just that you cannot see it. So even though the screen, this blue screen is on the telly now, but then the game is still installing behind the screen. So what you need to do is that give the screen, leave the screen on for about an hour or two maximum and the game should be done installing by, by, by then. Sure. So that's how I did to my GTA Auto 5 and it worked and I am trying it on my NBA 2K17 and I know it will work. So I'm going to leave the screen on and I'm going to pause the video and wait for an hour or two so the game finishes installing and then we'll continue from there. Alright, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so you are welcome back. So as I said earlier, I waited for the screen to be on for about, I think, an hour and a few minutes or so. Yeah, sure. So maybe you should wait for an hour or two. 
maximum and whatever game that is being installed should be done installing by by then so now after the hour or two what you need to do is press the ps button on your controller hold it for about two seconds and then you should see this menu screen and then you go to power and then you choose enter rest mode enter rest mode so you enter into rest mode and then one thing I also did was that I checked a couple of tutorials on YouTube and I some of them were saying I should put in a, a pen drive or something and it could help so I just inserted a drive I also tried whatever thing I tried so I am not sure whether the drive also played a role in it or also but then just make sure you have a drive inserted in your console for it may be the reason why it worked okay so now that the console is in rest mode so you are putting it back on so I'll press the PS button to turn on so it is my PS3 console let me change it back to the PS4 screen so the game is turning on it should work or trust me it will work I did the same thing to my GTA Auto 5 and it worked so user 1 oh la la here we are wait okay sure yeah so now here we are the screen is on now so let me press X the game is loading down the 15 percent 17 so after this guys trust me the game will work don't give you that blue screen again but then should it give you that screen again just make sure you leave it on that means the game is still not done installing leave the screen on for about an hour again and then try the same process by put, putting it into rest mode and then turning it back on and then you open the game you resume the game and it will keep installing so as you can all see the blue screen is gone and the game is opening and it's still installing though still on 2% but I believe and trust it will install so I think that will be that for today I'm just hoping the game will let's wait for the game to open so that we all be sure that at least the game open or whatever we are learning worked so it moved to 3% earlier on it gets to 2% and then it gives me that blue screen so now it passed um, 2% and the game is still on so let's wait for the game to come and I think that will be that for today Okay, so here we go. That's the game as we can all see on the screen. Before, I couldn't even open the screen, it just gave me that blue screen. But then, when I kept it on for an hour and I came back, I was able to play the game. And so, that will be that for today. Thank you guys, and kindly remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel like and share with a friend see you guys another time